Hello, I'm Ben Spaulding from CISS and I'd like to introduce you to the barcode scanners that Inventory Pro operates with. Um, and more, most importantly, the, the new Bluetooth scanners that Inventory Pro works with. But we do have an old traditional uh, product that works with Windows Mobile uh, 6.5 versions on the industrial handheld scanners like this. Uh, there's pistol grips. Uh, this happens to be a Cypher Lab model. There's LXE, Motorola, uh, all sorts of industrial scanners that are made. Uh, these are kind of, dare I say, old fashioned now and uh, probably eventually on their way out. They've started to make these with the Android operating system, and uh, that will probably take over for Windows Mobile soon. So, that being said, this is my Samsung Note 3, um, and if you just go into the standard Bluetooth uh, settings, this is actually paired currently with this Coamtac um, scanner that's built into a sled. This sled uh, will fit onto... Um, my Note 3, you see there's a case that goes around the Note 3, and then this slips into uh, the sled, and now you have a barcode scanner, excuse me, attached to your smartphone, and you can just scan away, and you get the traditional single click when you get a good scan and you get on a bad scan you get the, the three little short beeps. So this is really handy in, the, in that um, it works with an off-the-shelf uh, smartphone. It also works with the iPhone, the iPad mini, and regular iPad Airs, and uh, the Samsung Galaxy and some LG devices. So there are different sleds. This is actually the uh, case and sled that goes to an iPhone. Now, if you have uh, different phones and only one scanner, you can move these scanners between the sleds, but you have to take four Allen screws and, and mechanically move the scanner between the sleds. Uh, but if you were to go and get iPods, you could just pull the scanner off and then go from device to device uh, really quickly and easily. Uh, so it's a really nice feature of the Coamtech uh, sled. These are about $400 uh, for the scanner and the sled. So the other uh, Bluetooth scanner that we like to use is the Socket S7 series and uh, this is currently uh, connected uh, via Bluetooth with my iPad and I just wanted to show you how quickly oh, turn it on Ben how quickly you can scan barcodes with these Bluetooth scanners if, you, if you're watching the notepad you can see them come out so the reason for using these Bluetooth scanners is that they're much, much faster than trying to use the embedded camera that is on the phone. And if you've ever tried to do this before, I have an app on my phone that scans barcodes. You have to, uh, you know, line up the line, focus the beam, and then it will scan the barcode, and the it's very time consuming for the application because you have to basically leave Inventory Pro Mobile, turn on the camera, do the scan, and then return the results back to the application. So it takes forever using the embedded camera on a phone to work with an application. So for that reason, we only support in Inventory Pro Bluetooth scanners. Uh, and also, one nice thing about uh, 
like this socket 7CI, is if you push the power button quickly twice, it pops up the keyboard on the iPad, and uh, you can put in quantities or remarks, uh, shipping order numbers, etc., using the uh, regular keypad versus uh, barcode if you don't have the field barcode. So, one last device. This is a Bluetooth RFID reader. Uh, Inventory Pro will work with RFID tags, and it works much the same as uh, any other Bluetooth device. You just have to be in the field in Inventory Pro and then scan the barcode. And it comes out in Inventory Pro. Um, so, and Co this Coamtac, this model does not actually have an RFID reader in it, but the KDC 450 actually has an RFID reader. So you could just push the read and then go onto the barcode, uh, the RFID tag, and it would read the RFID tag. So that's that's another really nice feature of the Coamtac sleds. Socket. Uh, if you go to socketmobile.com, they also make a sled like the Coamtac that goes on to generic devices. Thank you very much. I hope this helped.